Let's face facts. You can get an antenna preamplifier for $25, $30 if you want a cheap one. You can get a quality one for about $50. So why would you want this Televez SmartCom amplifier, which costs a whole heck of a lot more? I mean, it had better do some pretty good magic tricks in order to justify that price. Before I answer the question, I want to tell you a little bit more about the thing. First of all, nice solidly built amplifier. Uh, this is probably one of Televez's common chassis because this, this output here is completely blocked off, meaning it's just kind of designed as a basic way. It's got a nice uh, weatherproof enclosure here with a big meaty zip tie, which closes up so nothing's gonna get in there once you've got it going. Also, it does have what looks like the standard Televez power injector, except it's not. If you look closely, there's an extra button on it, and it only has two connections where your typical power injector is gonna have four connections because it's gonna support multiple televisions. It's very important if you are a Televez fan to use this power injector with the SmartCom and not anything else. So I looked at this thing and tried to figure out, well, why would I necessarily care about this preamp as opposed to something else? After all, even Televez makes a decent preamplifier with multiple inputs for less money. And it gets into the question of using a rotator. You might remember a rotator from your younger days. I, I know that my folks had one and could point the antenna between New York City and Philadelphia and get channels from two different cities, which is kind of cool. And they were super well built back then, but I hate to say it, they're not super well built now. If you pay under $200 for a rotator, you really can't expect to get more than three or four, maybe five years out of the thing. And then you're going to replace it because after all, it's taken a lot of weather and it's moving a heavy antenna. It's just not gonna succeed. Now, if you're gonna pay $1,000 for a rotator, great. Well, you probably get one that lasts, except for you can't find an antenna rotator that costs $1,000. So what can you do? You can point your antennas in two separate directions and use an amplifier to combine them. There's a problem with that though, because if you're gonna do that, then you have to be very careful. You have to point them so far away from each other that there's no interference. You have to make sure that the cables are exactly the same length, and then you gotta hope it all works and doesn't make things worse. Supposedly, the SmartCom eliminates all those problems, which is why they call it the rotor killer. I decided to put that to the test. I created a worst case scenario for it to see if it could solve the problem. Okay, worst case scenario, I put up two antennas on the same mast. One of them was amplified, one of them was unamplified. There were two separate completely different cable runs. They were pointing exactly in the same way so that they were receiving all the exact same signals. And then I, I ran them through this maybe 40 year old combiner that I had laying around in the garage. Real piece of junk, I gotta be honest with you. And I don't know why I haven't thrown it away yet, but that's another story. I hooked this whole thing up to the meter and I took the measurements. What I got was absolutely the worst measurements I have ever gotten of any antenna scenario, and that doesn't surprise me. What surprises me is that I still got, you know, a few, a few channels, and most likely it's the ones that the weaker antenna wasn't able to get at all, so there was no interference in it. Um, I chose signal to noise as the way I evaluated this because that's really the most important thing for digital signals, by the way. So I said, okay, this in this worst case scenario, this is really pretty bad. If somebody did this, well, they're gonna be really unhappy with the, what they get. Then I hooked up the SmartCom amplifier and I took another set of measurements. Now take a look at these. You can see I got a lot more channels and more importantly, signal to noise ratio was very, very strong on almost all of them. Anything that's gonna be in that yellowish green to green range is gonna work for you almost all the time. So. I would say total success on that. 
How does it do it? You see it automatically scans and tries to find the strongest signal from either antenna, or you can actually connect up to three of them, so either any of three antennas, and then it uses that. So it's actively rejecting signals from an antenna that isn't doing any good. That really makes a difference in a scenario like this. So if I were pointing, for example, at you know, New York City and Philadelphia, and the, you know, I'm down in South New Jersey where potentially there's some overlap in the way the aiming goes, well, okay, it's going to pick the Philadelphia stations out of one, the New York stations out of the other, supposedly automatically. But if that still doesn't work, well, there's another trick up its sleeve. You see, it comes with an app. Of course it does, everything comes with an app, right? Except for this is the only amplifier I've ever seen that has come with an app. The app is available for iOS or Android devices and it's called A Suite and um, you load it. The first time you use it, you're going to have to push through a couple of, you know, prove this and select that. It's really not that hard. Just keep tapping on the thing that looks like the amplifier that you have and you'll be fine, trust me. From there, you can manually include or exclude channels from either antenna. Just make sure you know two things. First of all, which antenna is connected to which port, because it just refers to them as one, two, and three. And second of all, make sure that you're dealing with the actual RF broadcast channels and not the channel that you think it is. You, you may be looking at something that calling itself channel two and it actually may broadcast on channel 27. Be careful with that. Once you're done with that, upload it to the meter and you're in business. You can come back and change it anytime and it's just gonna work. Overall, very pleased with this SmartCom amplifier, but one last thing that I found that you're gonna have to be very careful of. The, there's a weird way that this whole thing is labeled, especially on the power injector. There are two connections on the power injector. One says TV and one says out. For whatever reason, the one that connects to out, that's the one that goes to your TV. The one that connects to TV, that's the one that goes to the TV port on the amplifier. I know it doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense, but what you wanna do is you wanna look for the green light on the amplifier to make sure it's actually working. If it is, well then you know you've got it hooked up right. You're really only gonna be doing this once, and once you've got it connected, you know it's gonna work. Simple as that. Now when it powers up, it will automatically scan through all the channels, try to figure out which one is strongest, and every time it loses power, it's gonna do that again. So you can also manually rescan if you want by pushing and holding the button either on the power injector itself or on the amplifier. Each of them seems to work pretty well. The light is gonna flash for just, you know, about 30 seconds, and then you'll be in business. I'll grant you, this amplifier isn't gonna be for everybody. It's pricey. There's no question about that. It is pricey, but it's not as pricey as even one rotator, and it's certainly not gonna be as pricey as replacing the rotator every couple of years, because with Televez quality, this, this thing could last 20 years and, you know, and be absolutely fine. And uh, I, I can see that happening. So while it's a little bit of an investment up front, if you're somewhere between two markets or even three markets, well, you're gonna want something like this. There's another use case too, because I test a lot of antennas, and oftentimes I will find that one antenna I test does really well on all the stations but one. Another antenna will do really well on all the stations except a different one. And with this setup, you could have both antennas pointing in the exact same direction. It will pick the strongest one from either automatically, and you will get all the channels that you want. It's as simple as that. The Telebus SmartCom is available at SolidSignal.com along with a whole bunch of other amplifiers that you're gonna find. Please check out the great selection at SolidSignal.com and if you have questions, give us a call. We actually pick up the phone. 888-233-7563 is the number and you're gonna wanna give us a call during East Coast business hours. That's when the trained technicians are there. The Telebus SmartCom well, it won me over. It costs a little bit, 
but it's worth it. Check it out now at SolidSignal.com.